Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my college morning routine. Um, now that I'm a senior, I have a little bit more time in the morning to get ready, so I start off with um, boiling some water to make my oatmeal. This oatmeal is from Trader Joe's and it's unsweetened, so um, you can sweeten it with fruits in the morning or sweeteners, um, dark chocolate chips, whatever you like. My dark chocolate chunks are from Trader Joe's and I also like to sweeten my Greek yogurt with it too. So if you haven't tried that, I'd highly recommend it. Um, but what's nice about this is that um, because the oatmeal is hot, it just melts the chocolate right into it and it becomes like this beautiful chocolatey breakfast. And to crunch it up, I also put some almonds in it um, and some blue agave. Um, and then I just eat my breakfast. Nothing really special. And I will say that this is a pretty heavy breakfast for me, so um, it does keep me going throughout the day and just starts my morning off. And next I'm going to light my sweater weather candle. Um, this is one of my favorite candles at the moment and I've already used like almost three-fourths of it and I got it like last week. Um, then I'm going to plan my day and just take a look at what my week looks like, what I need to do for that day, make a list of everything that's on my mind. Um, and then I open up my other journal and I go through what YouTube videos I want to do. Um, here I was preparing for my Bible study um, later that night and um, I'm a small group leader so I was just preparing for that, highlighting the important things and whatnot and it ended up being a really great session. And then lastly, I just wrote in my prayer journal, it takes like a few minutes, so it's nice to just meditate and reflect on um, how I'm feeling just spiritually and everything like that. Even if you're not religious, it's just really great to meditate, so I highly encourage you guys journaling or writing down what you feel in your head onto paper. So next, I'm going to go into the bathroom and I'm brushing my teeth with Crest 3D White in Radiant Mint, and then I'm going in with La Roche-Posay's Effaclar Face Wash. And I don't feel like my skin clearing up necessarily is because of this face wash, but I know that it's for acne prone skin, so I'm sure something in it is helping. I then go in with my Vanity Planet um, skin clearing brush. It's a lot like the Clarisonic, but I got this as a birthday gift and I've been using it around two to three times a week, um, especially during the drier months. It just kind of gets rid of all that dead skin, um, so my face is feeling extra clean and renewed um, more times throughout the week, and then I just wash off all of the soap. Um, I did wash my hair, so I'm just throwing it back up in a towel. And like I said, I didn't have classes today, so it's not like every morning I do this at all by any means, but um, I do think it's important to pamper yourself when you do get the chances to. Um, and I personally really like doing it in the morning. It just makes my skin feel extra good and moisturized. Um, I'm taking my Super Soft Body Butter by Victoria's Secret in Shea. Um, they did discontinue this, but I'm just moisturizing my skin and making sure my legs are moisturized and my arms. Again, it's kind of going into the winter months, so my skin needs a lot more love and moisture and I do the mask for about like 15 to 20 minutes and then I come back to the bathroom make sure I rub all of the moisturizer and liquids onto my neck because your neck can wrinkle and get old and saggy as well which sounds really gross um, but I just kind of rub that in I'll leave product links down below but these products I did get from my dermatologist so you can't really buy them at the drugstore unfortunately but um, I do think it's a handy tip to put your toner inside of a spray bottle and um, I'm using an oxygen moisture serum Serum, which is almost out so I need to buy another one or any kind of other serum but um, I think it's important now that I'm getting a little bit older to take care of my skin if you guys have seen my boyfriend does my voiceover video um, I had some really bad skin so let me know if you guys would like an acne story or my terrible skin video or something like that but this is the most important step no matter what skin type you have and no matter what climate you're in it's to put sunblock on sunblock just fights age and especially for those who do have acne your skin just is more prone to getting worse when you don't protect it 
So let's move on to hair. Um, I don't ever rub my hair with the towel in between my hands. I always squeeze. I heard once in a video that your hair is like a sponge and it just absorbs water. So to fight breakage, that's what I do. And then I'm just taking a wide tooth comb, making my part um, as straight as it can be because that's just the look I've been going for these days. And if you're looking to part your hair differently or part it in the middle and you feel like it looks weird, I would highly recommend taking it from your crown and then pulling it forward with a rat tail comb. Um, it just helps it with looking much more natural. And then I just blow dry my hair and my mom called, so I was on the phone with her for a little bit. I love talking to my mom. She honestly makes my college life so much better. Um, but anyway, let's go on to makeup. So I'm going in with my Glossier Priming Moisturizer over my sunblock, just tapping it into my skin. And this just makes it a little bit tacky right before my base makeup. So I'm taking the um, Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in dark, and I'll leave a link down below to my unboxing video if you haven't seen that yet um, but I just rub that into my skin and again it's just a tint nothing serious no crazy coverage no cakey skin just really your skin but just an even tone and then I take the Glossier stretch concealer and as a student this just feels the best on my skin because I'm working late into the night and I still want some coverage on my skin so um, these products are just really for those who can don't have time in the morning don't want to fuss with lots of makeup and brushes and things like that then I'm taking my IT Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. I love this brow pencil. I got it as a sample, but I think I'm going to buy the full size. And then I'm just curling my eyelashes. And if you have straight eyelashes like me, I'd highly recommend trying to pull the eyelash curler down like I am. Um, it just gives more of a natural curl than like the L curl, which is like just stick straight up, which I do get a lot with eyelash curlers. I don't know if anyone else struggles with that, but that's what I've been doing and it's been helping a lot. So I just pull down and curl towards the sky um, and then I go in with my I think this is the butterfly effect mascara by L'Oreal in the waterproof version again I only wear waterproof mascara because it's the only thing that keeps my eyelashes up um, but this one especially does a great job at combing out my eyelashes but if you wanted that spidery look this also does give that effect which I love and then I go into my NARS Laguna Bronzer um, just to bronze up my skin a little bit. Again, this pairs really well with the Glossier Skin Tint because it's just dewy and it looks fresh and it's just a wash of color, so no hard contouring or anything like that. I then go into my second coat of mascara to make sure that all of my lashes are evenly coated and um, I do like to focus the mascara wand on the tip of the eyelashes. And then I take my NARS Laguna Bronzer and take my finger and just smudge it into my eye. And I feel like this is a trend these days to use bronzer as eyeshadow, but I've been doing this for the longest time because I have pretty flat eyelids, so it just adds a little bit of contour. And then I'm using the Nivea Milk and Honey Chapstick or Lip Balm to moisturize my lips, and I love this stuff. I have like six of them. And lastly, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. So my watch is from MVMT. You do get $15 off at checkout with the code in my seams 15. My top is from Pull and Bear. Um, my bag is Michael Kors. My coat is from Zara. And my pants are from H&M. And my shoes are Stan Smith's. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.